Leticia Lowe and um, I'm the founder and the designer of Mary's Corner since nearly 20 years now. I'm Paul Deles, I'm the founder and designer of Central Station and CS Basics. And we are in the upholstery business. I started this business because I worked with my mother 20 years ago and she had a company was selling some furniture. My father was an advertising designer and maybe I grew up in this kind of business. I saw lots of design and furniture around me all my life. I like the antique form and, and I think they can stay forever with you but I wanted to put them in a modern life, a new life. I designed a few small chairs and then, that I liked to be, in my, to, to be in my house. And then I put them in my car and I start going in shops to show them. And I start to have some customer with this and step by step the company grew and, and here we are. <laughs> I went to the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Antwerp and that's it's really a good place to be creative and to meet other disciplines, people from other disciplines and then you have like the people doing fashion, you have people doing product uh, development, you have graphic designers. I was into painting and I was painting for let's say at least 10 years, then evolved into more three-dimensional because I, I, I used to have a grant from the uh, government uh, which was pretty special and then they gave me a huge studio space. I could drive my car into my studio but I could also do <laughs> huge paintings, I could also do uh, sculptural things and that's pretty much what led me into doing some furniture design. You have to understand the material you work with. Uh, same thing with wood. You have to understand because it's a very, it's a, wood is a very physical uh, element eh? and that moves and that does things that are limited. You so you're limited to your materials, which is one of the uh, very intriguing and interesting things. When I'm designing a new piece, it's um, first of all it's because I want I want to do this piece because I love it, because I want to change an old piece. But also I, I listen, and we listen, all the team in, in Belgium, we listen a lot for the, from the customer. We do a prototype, he, he bring his design, we do the prototype, and then if the prototype is not okay, we change something on the prototype, and then we do the piece. And also we're doing, of course, a lot of customized pieces, because we work a lot in Europe, we work a lot for a project, hotel, restaurant, and then we're doing a lot of customized pieces. I design it on a paper with a black pencil, like at the old time. <laughs> I don't even know how computer are working for this thing. <laughs> I really design on a paper, and um, but with the D hide, because I know how you can, the high you can see it deep, is acceptable. The traditions are there for a reason, so um, we still build, every piece of furniture we build very traditionally, like the joinery, um, the, the finishing, the choosing of the woods, it's all very traditional. Um, then again, you take a traditional uh, way of work into a more contemporary piece or it doesn't matter, that's all form, but the core is very traditional, always. I started with a factory in Spain who was really um, specialized in upholstery, but also I started with this company because they were doing this job since more than 100 years, and it was really the grandfather and then the, you know, all the family was coming and working in the in the upholstery business, it's really a tradition in this city in Spain, but especially in this factory. They're cutting the fabrics thing still by hand, 
on almost all the pieces that we have in the in the collection and they're doing frames like in the old time but panels glue they, it's really something important for us the wood that we use is also local it's also thinking about the the footprint and everything and making furniture here in uh, in high points there's a lot of craftsmanship. And also we are a very small country. Belgium is small. And then we travel a lot. That we learn different language, we learn different how do you say that? Different way of life and and then maybe it opens us to different style and different things.